Hi guys, welcome back. So in the last videos, we saw that how to broke the singleton design patterns using serialization or multi-threading and how we can resolve that, that also we saw that. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to broke a singleton design pattern using clonable, okay? And we can see that how to solve that as well, okay? So first let's see how to broke the singleton design pattern using clonable. Okay, it is very simple. So to broke that, let me go to serialization. Okay, let me add the implementation of clonable. Okay, so I need to add the clonable. So then what basically I need to do, I need to add the implementation methods, unimplemented methods. So clone method, okay, basically, okay, so that's all. Now, when I created the object, right? So, okay, basically what is cloning? Okay, cloning is nothing but copying the object. Okay, so that's it, copying the object. Cloning is nothing but copying the object. So I'm going to copy one object into another object that is called cloning basically, okay? So while copying that, okay, so for example, so I have a object one, right? So I want to copy this object one to object two. Okay. So that time it should not give the new instance basically, right? So it, it has to give me the old instance. How can I clone that? First of all, it, it has to, it, it should not create the two instance. It has to create only one instance basically, right? So first let me clone that. Okay. Object one dot clone. Okay. So what is the error? Uh, just add cast okay so now what is the okay throw the exception as well clone not support supported exception okay that's fine now let's try to print this try to get the what is that hash code of both okay so object one dot hash code okay so hash code is nothing but it's a like a memory location where it is stored right so it should store it should not give the two different both should be same right so let's try to run this program and see see i just cloned that if i cloning also it should not give me the two instance right it should give me the only one instance so using clonable people can broke this our singleton design pattern right to avoid that what basically we can do when people are trying to clone the object, we should not allow them basically. So for that, what basically we need to do, we should not return this one. Okay. So we should not clone and return this. We should throw the clone not found exception. So now if people are trying to clone this object, it will give the error. Bus, I cannot able to clone for you. So nobody can broke our singleton rule using clonable. Okay. So hope you understood, right? What is clonable and uh, how to broke the singleton design pattern using clonable and how to resolve that. So all the stuffs we understood, right? Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.